Max Verstappen and Red Bull are furious with Sky Sports F1 after recent comments over the last Formula 1 race weekend. So much so that the team has boycotted Sky Sports. But what was said about the two times world champion? And are the actions of himself and the team justified? And what will become of the Sky Sports correspondent moving forward? Be sure to stick around for the whole video to find out. So Red Bull and Verstappen have been in the firing line of the media for all the wrong reasons recently, mainly relating to the whole cost cap breach. But they are back under the spotlight again in Mexico, where Max Verstappen broke the record for most race wins in a season, and also at the same time decided to boycott Sky Sports F1. After comments from one individual from Sky Sports media team, who Verstappen claimed made some very disrespectful comments towards himself and Red Bull. But more on that individual later in the video. But this is what Max Verstappen had to say. Obviously not to Sky Sports, but to another media outlet. That'd be a little bit awkward. It had nothing to do with this weekend. But this year, it's been a constant digging. Being disrespectful, especially one particular person. And at one point, it is enough. I don't accept it. You can't live in the past. You just have to move on. And social media is a very toxic place. And if you are constantly being like that, live on TV, you are only making it worse. Instead of trying to make it better in the world. You keep disrespecting me. And at one point, I'm not tolerating it anymore. And that's why I've decided to stop answering. Now, this isn't the first time that Max Verstappen has boycotted a media service. You may recall he refused to be on last season's Drive to Survive on Netflix, as he claimed that they are manufacturing rivalries and portraying some drivers as villains to enhance the drama. However, Red Bull team boss Christian Horner has also backed up Max and told reporters, again, not Sky Sports, this in a recent interview. There were some derogatory comments made, so we took a break from Sky for this race. Max was upset. We were upset and we made the decision to stand together as a team. It won't have done Sky any harm for us to lay down a marker. Some of the commentary is fair, but some pieces are sensationalist, and saying we robbed anyone of a championship, as was said in Austin, is going too far. It is not impartial, or fair, or balanced. So who said what, and why did it make Red Bull and Max Verstappen decide that enough was enough? Well, before that, big thanks for sticking around to this point in the video. If you're enjoying today's content, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more regular Formula 1 updates like this in future. Although it has not been confirmed by Red Bull or Max Verstappen, fans have quickly come to the conclusion that Sky Sports correspondent Ted Kravitz is the reason for Red Bull boycotting Sky Sports. It was during Ted's notebook that Kravitz had mentioned Hamilton beating Verstappen in the last race of the season would have been like a movie script, having been robbed in the season finale in Abu Dhabi last December. And it is these comments that are believed to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Or the bull's back in this case, I suppose. But what's happened since we left Mexico to head to Brazil? And what will happen to Ted Kravitz now? Well, Kravitz's comments have been defended by Jack... I won't even attempt to pronounce his last name, but I'll put it on screen for you now. A Dutch broadcaster for Ziggo Sport, where he had this to say in Ted's defence. If you listen very carefully to that interview, he's walking down through the paddock, and he says it would be a very nice script for a film. So cuts were made to that, so everybody only gets to hear the last bit, where he tells us he was robbed. Not Max, but the title. So Hamilton has been robbed. He doesn't even mention the whole name Max Verstappen. It does get hugely amplified again by those in England. The English press have been bashing Red Bull and Max for a year now. I don't like that. It's a bit of a game, you know? The English are bashing Max and Red Bull, and he is now being put forward as a scapegoat. He isn't. I stick up for Ted. As for Verstappen and Red Bull... It seems like the boycott was just for the race in Mexico and they'll be back talking to Sky Sports in Brazil. So hopefully it's water under the bridge and goes no further. This was the latest statement from Christian Horner. Next race, service will resume. We just wanted to lay down a marker to say certain things aren't acceptable and as a team we stand together. Accusations of a championship being robbed is something we don't feel is an impartial commentary. Max is very upset about it and as a team we support him fully. So the team have stated that the boycott is over in Brazil. But do you think the boycott will be over for Max Verstappen? Let me know your thoughts below. But that's the video for me today, guys. Remember to leave a like and consider subscribing for more Formula 1 updates like this in future. And until the next time, bye-bye.